Hey, what's up everybody? Well, it is overdue time that I put these Dr. Sally ride quarters into circulation. I'm gonna be taking a trip. I'm gonna be going to multiple states, putting these quarters into circulation. Just maybe they will be in circulation somewhere near you, I don't know. Before we do, please give this video a big thumbs up and we also have to unwrap these quarters. I'm gonna do it right now in this video. I don't know who this is gonna hurt more, me or you, but we are going to unwrap these quarters right here on video. I cannot believe I am doing this, but once I do this, there's no going back now. Here they go, unwrapping these quarters unwrapping these quarters and here we go here we go oh there's the first one there's the second one now this roll was a tails and a tail so we did not see the san francisco mint mark on these originally but there it is the san francisco mint mark and well might as well take the rest of them out of here and there they are they are unwrapped and look how shiny. These are really shiny, really nice condition. Wow. There you have the reverse of the coin with the Dr. Sally ride. Well, these are all going into circulation now. So come with me on this journey. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget, please smash that thumbs up button. So here we go. These quarters are going into circulation. All right, so this is gonna be our first stop. The address here is 1565 East Alexis Road. And I guess this would be Toledo, Ohio. This is exit 210 off of 75. So let's go inside. All right, so I'm probably gonna get a Diet Dr. Pepper, $2.35. I have my bag of quarters. That's what I'm gonna get. I can help you over here. Okay. Just a two fifty four. Well, we are at a Kentucky Welcome Center, and I'm going to use this Sally Ride San Francisco Quarter in a vending machine. About to get a snack right there at this Kentucky Welcome Center. Walking into the Welcome Center. And head over to the vending machine. Well, we are now in the Bluegrass State in Kentucky. The address here is 5992 Merchant Street. However, I can't see the address on the actual building, but we are at a speedway going in to spend some more of the San Francisco Sally Ride quarters. Here we go up to the counter. Side. Okay, thanks. Uh, Is that it for you today? Yep, that's it. Oh, right. 285. Okay, thanks. No problem. You got a speedy car today?
Hey, what's up everybody? So it's time to spend a couple more of these quarters. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it, but we are currently at a Publix in Seaverville, Tennessee, basically near Dollywood in Tennessee at a Publix. And the address is 750 Winfield Dunn Parkway or Highway, one of the two. But there is the Publix we are getting ready to go into to spend a couple of these quarters. I'm gonna go into this Kroger right here. It is 702 Winfield Dunn Parkway here in Seifersville, Tennessee. And I'm gonna just go put one of these San Francisco Sally Ride quarters in the Coinstar. You know how I always like finding silver and all kinds of coins in the Coinstar? Well, it's my turn to put a coin in the Coinstar rejection slot. So I'm gonna be going into this Hatfield and McCoy feud dinner show. And for the tip for the server who's gonna be serving our dinner at this show, I'm gonna be leaving as part of the tip on the table, one of the Dr. Sally Ride San Francisco quarters. Let me go ahead and turn that around. I'll be leaving this exact quarter on the table, Dr. Sally Ride, as part of the tip I'll be leaving this quarter on the table. And there it is, the full tip, including that San Francisco Sally Ride order. Hatfield and McCoy dinner show near Dollywood in Tennessee. So I am over here at the Wilderness at the Smokies smoky mountain water park resort and my plan today is to circulate a couple of those san francisco dr sally ride quarters by tipping my bartender i'm gonna have a couple of drinks at least one or two drinks poolside over here at this resort wyndham resort and tipping my bartender a couple of quarters of them san francisco sally ride quarters the address here is 1424 old knoxville highway in seaferville tennessee just want to give you guys a view from the balcony of our room and so that there is the water park and then there's also a indoor water park like right over there and that right there is the bar most likely that i will be purchasing a drink today and leaving a tip with a couple of those San Francisco Dr. Sally Ride quarters, which lucky bartender will be getting those quarters? Let's find out. There's the drink. And here comes the Sally Ride San Francisco quarters into the tip jar. And Next stop is at a Raising Canes off of exit 22 of I-75 near Cincinnati, Ohio. I've never had this place, so in it, very interested to see what this place is like, but gonna be spending a couple of these San Francisco quarters here as well. Yeah. 
So I did end up spending two of them San Francisco Sally ride quarters, but it was very hard to get a video inside because it was very busy inside the restaurant. I think this is probably new here, this Raising Cane's near Cincinnati, Ohio, but I did spend two of them Sally ride San Francisco quarters. Although the footage of me actually handing over them quarters, probably not very good. However, I did spend two of them quarters here. I'm back and Sally Ride San Francisco quarters are in circulation. Well, at least most of them and we're gonna talk about that. But here is the box that that roll came out of. And there we have the missing spot where that San Francisco roll used to sit in this box. There's the wrapper as we saw at the very beginning of the video, we unwrapped all of those quarters and these are the quarters that actually remain that I did not actually circulate at this present time. And I want to kind of explain why that would be. Now, when I first started out spending these and putting these into circulation, I quickly found out I wasn't going to be able to spend 280 every time I stop, or I wasn't going to be able to put these into circulation at as many places as I wanted to, because of course, $10 today doesn't go very far. So I had to watch how much I spend at each stop. So instead of spending 280 or whatever it was on a Gatorade or something to drink at a gas station instead of paying with that all in these quarters I started to just take a couple of the quarters one quarter or two quarters with some other older quarters or with a dollar bill and added that to the Sally Wright quarters that I was spending. I wasn't really keeping track of how many of them I was spending and after it was all said and done I came home and this is what I have left. So out of $10 face, I currently have, and let's get that nickel out of the way, it looks like I am still left with $2.50 is what I have left of the $10 in face, which would mean $7.50 of the Sally Ride San Francisco quarters are indeed in circulation at all of those places that I showed in this video. And from then, now that's been over a week. By now, I'm assuming that those quarters aren't in those exact places, especially where I spent them, like at the gas stations. Maybe they're still at those vending machines where I put a quarter or two into those vending machines. But I'm assuming those gas stations, they may be long gone, especially since that was at the beginning of the trip. And that was, you know, seven, eight days ago. And then some of the quarters I left as tips. Now, I was going to, and I may do that with these quarters in a later video, and that is to actually leave them as tips and let these people know exactly what they are. Now, in that scenario, these will not get into circulation because they will probably hoard these as they are more of a collector's coin and not something that you necessarily want to spend on goods and services. However, let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see me do with the remaining $2.50 that I have left of these quarters. Now, if this video goes good and people actually like this, possibly I will do this also with a Wilma Mankiller roll. Now, the reason why I did it with the San Francisco Sally Ride is because I had five of these sets, whereas I had four Maya Angelou PDS sets. Now I only have four of the Wilma Mankiller because United States Mint took back our fifth enrollment and only gave us four enrollments. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that with my Wilma Mankiller or just keep all four of those PDS sets. However, like I said, if this video goes good, smash that thumbs up button leave me a comment in the comment section down below and if this video goes good who knows maybe i will for seven dollars and fifty cents of them are in circulation let me know in the comment section down below what would you like to see with the remaining two dollars and fifty cents thanks everybody for watching like comment subscribe smash that thumbs up button and i'll talk to everybody on my next video and if you live in one of these areas if you're anywhere in one of these areas where i did put some of these cores in circulation then happy hunting.